Suicide to jump off of this cliff. Sure, and you're wrong, Mike. I can make that dive. Admit it, he escaped them, man eater. This escape won't do us any good. Why won't it? Those natives have worked themselves into a frenzy. those natives and that's all there is to it. Well, we can try. Tobana, 
You know their language, Blake. What are they saying? The big native is Tambana, their chief. He told his people that we are their friends. That Kaloka, the witch doctor, lies. That means we can depend upon Tambana to help get us out of here. What are we waiting for? Let's get in there. Wait a minute, Fred. I'd like to play us some sort of a defense in the event that they attack us. The witch doctor's using that microphone to make the natives think their idol's talking to them. He's telling them that Munakai, their idol, wants the white men sacrificed. That the white men are about to drive them from their island. A faker. He's also telling them that Tambana is the friend of the white man and must be sacrificed with him. That Kaloka must be their new king. This thing is getting plainer every minute. The witch doctor is working with the Scorpion's agents, trying to turn the natives against us. Well, faith, then. That's the man we got to lay our hands on. Have to rush them. Maybe the surprise of seeing us will hold them off for a minute. But remember, we have to get Coloca alive. Mercedes, you stay in back of us out of the line of fire. All right, Red. Y'all will hear them. He's still popping off. You tried to get him and missed. Here they come. I was going to have a tough job keeping that mob away from us. Not if he can explain to them what made the rider speak. The rest of you stay here. I'm going to have a talk with you. Tombana, your sacred idol, Monokai, did not speak. You and your people were tricked by Kaloka. I will show you. Listen. Kaloka spoke to you. It was not the voice of Monokai, your sacred idol. Speak to your people, Tambana, and tell them that their sacred idol, Monokai, did not speak to them. Tell them it was the evil work of Koloka, who has been killed by the idol for his treachery. Tell them that. Tambana! Tambana! Huda! Kiraka! Tambana! Koloka! Katamba! I have told my people that you are our friends, and that we trust you. And we trust you, Tambana. We are here to protect you and your people. Tambana, thank you. Blake! Pick up the rest of this contraption from the idol. First we find an up-to-the-minute microphone under the floor of the radio station, and now this. Yeah, the latest type public address system. Equipment like this must mean that the Scorpions agents have a complete communication setup. I'm sure of it and highly trained technicians and an A-1 sending station right here on this island. Well, if that's the case, we have a job on our hands to try and locate it. Yeah, this island covers plenty of territory. Darling, why don't we run a triangulation test? We could use the radio on the 620 and the one to run down a bay. That's a great idea, Red. That's just what I'm going to do. Are you all through, Blake? Yes. Well, bring the rest of the equipment and let's get back to the warehouse. Any luck, Don? Not much. We've picked up a few messages intended for a station somewhere on this island, but that's all. Sure, and that's something. Yes, but as long as that station here on the island is silent, neither Red on the 620 nor Chapman here can get the two points we need from which to draw the triangle that will locate the Scorpion's secret base. It might be located in that whole sea mill. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, Mike. But it's my firm conviction that when you do locate the Scorpion's radio, you'll discover his headquarters at the same time. Possibly. But we're going to stick right here until we get some sort of a message from the station we're after. And then we'll triangulate it so fast it'll make your head swim. Well, good luck. I've got to get back to the mine. Be sure to let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thanks, Merlin. Scorpion 
is certainly sending us fine equipment. We need it. That boat's the latest and best in submarine construction. Well, it's going to be on the way, Who's the submarine Z-40 equipped with plane? You arrived just in time, Captain Jackson. I have an important job waiting for you. Good, I'm ready. The destroyer 620's lying offshore, attempting to triangulate our radio station here, with the station to Rondana Bay. Do you want me to attack it, sir? Oh, no. You can't afford to take that much risk. But you will have to launch your plane. We're going to see about refueling. Well, having an undersea oil well down here certainly makes us the most perfect secret sub-base in the world. That's why I'm doing everything in my power to protect it. It's the 620, sir. Radio telephone. I've just picked up something out here I think you ought to get in on. Switch over to the 15 megacycle band and listen in. Chapman, put it on 15 megacycles. This may be interesting, Mike. Your continued failure, M22. Either to capture my enemy, Winslow, or to wound the naval base, Proofs, you are the wrong man for the Tenjita assignment. Don, that's the Scorpion himself talk. None other, Mike. That definitely proves that there's a secret radio station on this island. If it would only send so that we could pick it up, sir. I have too much at stake to allow Winston to stand in my way. If you can't accomplish what I've ordered, I will replace you and all my agents in Tenjita. See that my orders are obeyed. You know what the Scorpion means by replacing us. Yeah, it means our demise. Disposing of us in his usual way unless we capture Winslow. Not only capture Winslow, but annihilate the entire setup. Where's Corey and Spike? The sea mill repairing our radio. You better get up there right away. Tell Corey to send fake code messages to imaginary submarines any place in the Pacific. What's that for? Winslow at the warehouse radio, Pennington at the 620, are trying to triangulate this station, aren't they? Sure, but... All we gotta do is keep Barker from sending. We'll do better than that. With Corley broadcasting his fake message, Pennington and Winslow are sure to pick it up. That'll make them think that the radio station is located in the mill. Then they'll destroy it. No, we'll destroy it before they get there. I want them to believe that the mill is the Scorpion's headquarters. Well, how do we know when they locate it? I'm going up there right away and try and find that out. When I do, I'll send Barzak up to bomb the mill. But we'll be in there and... Don't be alarmed. I'll instruct Barzak to fly twice over the mill before he bombs it. That'll give you plenty of time to get out. Okay. Anything new? Yes. The station we've been searching for has been sending all right, but we can't make out the code. Well, can't you triangulate the location of the station? As nearly as we can judge, it's somewhere in the vicinity of the old sea mill. Sure, and wasn't that what I was telling you? Well, I'm still gambling. If you locate the radio at the old sea mill, you'll discover that it's also the Scorpion's headquarters. I hope you're right. Mike, get to Blake. I want you two to start a thorough investigation. As soon as Red gets back with the 620, we'll follow. Yes, sir. Maybe this once I'll get in on the ground floor of a good fight. <laughs> Anything I can do? I'm afraid not. But I'll let you know how we come out. Thanks. It's the 620 again, sir. Lieutenant Pennington calling. Wait a minute, Mike. Let's see what this is. The 620 has returned, sir, and is moored in her usual berth. All right, Red. Come in as quickly as you can. This changes things. Red is back with the 620. So he and I will go up to the mill, and you and Blake follow us later. <laughs> oh, sure. I knew it would turn out that way. Now, listen. Here's what you and Blake will have to do. We've been sending for over an hour now, Prindle. We got to get out. Sure. Where's those had all the time he needs to get a line on this station? We're going to stay right here and keep on sending till the plane flies over the first time. We'll have plenty of time to get out after that. Yeah, if we're lucky. I don't like the split-second timing. You and me both. I don't want to be here when those eggs start dropping on this old mill. Stop worrying. Keep on sending. He knows the location of the sea mill and is sufficient to recover from his accident to handle the job, right? All set? Yes, sir. All right. 
Don't come back and blow that mill off the face of the earth. Keep a sharp lookout. I'm going on ahead. Okay, sailor. I'll signal you from one of the windows the minute I locate anything. Before that guy starts dropping eggs on us. I'm with you. Wait. We gotta take Winslow with us. This is the one time I'm forgetting the Scorpion's order. Me too. Come on. Taking Winslow with us. Not me. That's Barsack's second time over. 